Our next speaker is Reza Mesri. As I indicated, he is the Ralph uh, Peck Professor at the University of Illinois, and we'll be interested in his insights and perceptions. Thank you, Professor Mitchell. Good morning. Ralph B. Peck, Professor Emeritus of Civil Engineering at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, and one of the most in influential engineers of the 20th century, died on February 18, 2008, at the age of 95. He was born in Winnipeg, Canada, in June, on June 23, 1912, to his American parents, Orwell K. and Ethel Hayek Peck when his father had taken a job as a bridge engineer with the Grand Trunk Pacific Railroad. Rob Peck earned a civil engineering degree in 1934 and doctor of civil engineering degree in 1937, both from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. He married Marjorie Truby on June 14, 1937, he is survived by his daughter, Nancy Peck Young, and son and daughter-in-law, James Peck and Lori Peck, and grandchildren, Michael Young and Maya Peck. In 1938 to 1939, Rob Peck attended soil mechanics course at Harvard University and was a laboratory assistant to Arthur Casagrande. From 1939 to 1942, Ropek was an assistant subway engineer for the city of Chicago, representing Carl Terzaghi, who was a consultant on the Chicago subway construction project. Ropek joined the University of Illinois in 1942 and was a professor of geotechnical engineering from 1948 to 1974. Together with Carl Terzaghi, Ropek published in 1948 the most influential textbook in geotechnical engineering, Soil Mechanics in Engineering Practice. The third edition of this book, with additional co-author, Gulam Reza Mesri, was published in 1996. With Walt Hansen and Tom Thornburn in 1953, Roth published the most widely used textbook, Foundation Engineering, a book for engineers to use in practice. At the University of Illinois, he built a premier geotechnical program and succeeded in fulfilling Carl Terzaghi's hope for Peck, quote, to educate a generation of geotechnical engineers who retain common sense and their sense of proportion, end of quote. In a foreword to Carl Terzaghi, the engineer as artist by Richard Goodman, Rob Peck considered it his, quote, privilege to work for and with Carl Terzaghi for much of the last 30 years of his life, end of quote. Goodman recounts from a 1946 Terzaghi letter to F.E. Schmidt in which Terzaghi confided that Rolf Peck, quote, is the best disciple I have gotten so far. Rolf taught the practical art of problem solving always ingrained with the observational approach. He had a profound influence on numerous students. One distinguished engineer has written about Ralph Peck, quote, to meet him, to listen to him, to be influenced by him at an early age have been gifts I value, end of quote. Ralph Peck's life and work have been detailed in two books, and a Norwegian Geotechnical Institute NGI publication. Judgment in Geotechnical Engineering, The Professional Legacy of Rolf B. Peck was published in 1984. 
by John Donacliffe and Don Udir. Ravi Peck, engineer, educator, the man of judgment, was edited by Elmo de Biagio and Correg Flote, both Rolf's students, for dedication in 2000 of the Peck Library, side by side to the Terzaghi Library at NGI in Oslo, through the insightful efforts of director Suzanne Lacasse. Ravi Peck, educator and engineer, the essence of the man, published in 2006 by John Donicliffe and Nancy Peck Young, is the most recent and detailed. Rob Peck recognized that no theory can be considered satisfactory until it has been adequately checked by actual observations. He was actively engaged in bridging the gap between academia and the engineering practice. Roth served as a consultant on over 1,000 civil engineering projects in the United States and 33 foreign countries. He was the president of the International Society of Soil Mechanics and Foundation Engineering from 1969 to 1973. He was presented with the National Medal of Science by President Gerald Ford in 1975, quote, for his development of the science and art of subsurface engineering, combining the contributions of the sciences of geology and soil mechanics with the practical art of foundation design, end of quote. Ropek, no doubt, possessed remarkable and once-in-a-lifetime technical knowledge and experience. However, what distinguished Rob Peck was his exceptional ability to communicate at every level and every form, and his superb judgment and wisdom. These qualities combine to make him a very kind, considerate, thoughtful, and humane man he communicated with eloquence and humility. In the words of one distinguished engineer, Propek was not only a gentleman, but also a gentle man. This sentiment is shared by all colleagues, co-workers, and friends of Propek. Thank you.